Welcome to this YouTube video and today I will be making a portable DC power supply using these 40 volt batteries. So right here I'm going to check to make sure that it's 40 volts. As you can see we're reading 40 volts of DC voltage. And now I have two batteries, I put them in series together and we're going to read almost 80 volts. And then I have three batteries connected in series and we should be reading almost 120 volts of DC voltage. Alright, right here I hooked up this light to a switch that are connected to these batteries. And as you can see, the light turns on when I flick the switch. And then it turns off when I turn the switch off. All right, so the next problem that we have is these batteries wobble a lot and we don't want that. So I have this piece of wood, I wrapped it in foam. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna stick it down right into here. So now we don't have a wobble. So let's shut it. Yep, we have no wobble in our ammo case of electricity. All right, so now I'm gonna test these batteries. So we are getting 113.8. So these batteries are a little bit depleted, so that is expected. At full charge, we would probably get about 120 volts, but this is close enough. All right, so one other thing I wanna note is when I use these corded tools, it does work, but it runs at the maximum RPM because we're using DC voltage, not AC voltage, so I'll explain shortly, but... So, this will run at the max RPM. So I'm going to show you, when I vary the trigger, usually on these corded tools you can get it low or high, but this one is just going to go high. So, as you can see, that happens. So, if you don't want to vary the RPM, the best way to do this is open this up. And let's see, we're going to unplug this. So we're going to set it for about 40 volts. So this is going to give us some really low RPM. Let's get this wire in. Make sure we have the right plug this time. And now, as we can see, super low RPM. So you can probably hear the difference that this is running a lot slower and weaker too, but that's the only difference with running this. So now I 3D printed out this plastic face plate for this outlet. So I'm going to cut it down a little bit, then we're going to bend it with a heat gun. Alright, so now I attach the faceplate on after I finish cutting it down. And then I use this heat gun right here to make those bends, and I flattened it down as best as I could. And I put that screw in the center just to make sure it'll stay there. So overall, that came out pretty nice. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I have the subscribe button right here. If you want to check out another video, click right here. Thank you for watching.